Hello, family. Um, pray for me because I'm getting the runner out. Um, I know I'm being attacked and I know God's going to get me through. So I don't have my phone on the thing because it keeps falling. It's bad. I started feeling like I was getting better yesterday. It's like right here. Nebulizer stopped working. It's 10 years old. My mother tries to get it on her Medicare. I mean, I'm going to stop freaking breathing before these people stop jacking me around, you know? It's, um, Medicare says you don't need a prescription. So we go up to the place, 12, 12 minutes away, North Richland Hills. She says you need a prescription. We were told you need one. Well, you need one. It's like, okay, well, never mind, ma'am. I'll, I'll be dead by then. Thank you. <laughs> so my mother's doctor is notorious for not phoning in prescriptions when she needs to. I mean, my, my mother's waited up to a month. There's a particular nebulizer I need. So at this point, I dropped my mother off. I said, I'm going to head up to the ER. I need a breathing treatment. Steroids aren't working. Nothing, nothing's working. I've tried tea. I've, I've tried everything. You name it, I've tried it. Nothing's working. Um, so I drive all the way up to the hospital. My doctor calls me, tells me that they phoned in the prescription of the nebulizer. My insurance doesn't cover it. Now, I have United Healthcare. Yeah. Um, find out it's $60. Okay, my mother's going to help me pay for it. Good, I can leave the ER. I don't really like going to the ER. Too many germs. So, I, well, before I leave, I call Albert. I said, did you phone it in? I said, yes. I said, okay, I'm going to head over there to pick it up. This way I don't have to go to the ER. She says, okay. So, then I don't know there's different kinds of nebulizers. I need a strong one. The one I have is like a square box. That's not the kind that they have. Whoa! Wow. That person's going down a one way. Look at this. Okay. Let the person back up, man. They didn't know. Oh, wow. God bless them. Look at that. Tells you what kind of day I've been having. This is the second time. We got so much road construction around here. Everybody keeps going down one way. So, oh, God bless her. Stop honking. She's trying to... Oh, the poor lady. God bless her, man. And she's an older lady, too. God bless her. People are... The rapture can't come soon enough. Wow. Horrible people. What What was she going to do? Wow. Uh, anyway, where was I? Um... Yeah, so there's different kinds of nebulizers. Naturally, the kind that they have is the Ricky Dink one. It's just really not powerful, you know? Oh, and they don't have it in stock. I says, ma'am, I just I was just on the phone with you. Ma'am, I can't breathe. If everybody keeps jacking me around, I'm going to freaking pass out. It's it's tight. It, you know, I said, ma'am, I told you I was on my way to pick it up. Why didn't you tell me that before I left the ER? So, can't reach my doctor. been trying to call them all day because they're bombarded, you know? So I'm hoping, and I'm fixing a pull in. I'm hoping that they can get. Meanwhile, I got to do the driving around myself because my mom's 80. She can't go out in this heat, you know. And um, my daughter's out of town, working, and um, I'm hoping they can give me a breathing treatment. If they can't, then I'm gonna have to go back to the ER. So they're ordering this Jim Bob's Rinky Dink Nebulizer. That's probably not gonna do really anything. And meanwhile, in order to get the good nebulizer. We have to wait until my mother's doctor gradually strolls around and phones in the prescription, which could be weeks. Please keep me in your prayers because if I, if I, if you can hear, I'm, I'm, I'm winded and it's like right here, it's tight, it's here and I, I know I'm being attacked, but I know God will get me through, but I can't, making this video is hard, I can't, um, move around too much, but I have no choice right now because I, I don't have anybody to really take me to the doctor. Um, I can't talk a lot, so I can't work. Um, please, if, please keep me in your prayers, and um, you guys are my prayers also, and I will keep you guys updated, and I will be back on as soon as I can. God bless.